So then, welcome to another thrilling episode of Food and Travel with James. And this afternoon, we're in Formby, in Lancashire. And Formby's like a, quite a highbrow place, if you will, just north of Liverpool. And I thought we'd try uh, Waterfields out. Now, Waterfields is like a, a chain of bakers. Done some research. The, uh, the headquarters of this place, and where it all began, was in Lee, in Lancashire. So I think you find these bakeries all around the northwest of England. So I've heard good things about it as well. I've had it on uh, personal recommendation. So let's get in and let's check out these pies. Hey up, I need to tell you, don't I, how much, uh, how much this little lot costs. So it came to a grand total of £6.30. And that's for a meat and potato pie, that was £3.25. And a steak slice that was £3.05. So yeah, £6.30 altogether, and that's at the beginning of October 2024. So I've got the goods, and let's try and open these one-handed, right, and blowing away. So that is the meat and potato pie. Try and get it out of its uh, casing, and not litter. So that is the meat and potato pie quite heavy that as well it's got some weight to it that so we'll get into that in a sec so that's that and this is this is the steak slice let's have a look at this if we can without making too much of a mess so that's the steak slice again quite heavy got a bit of weight to it that decent bake on it so yeah, steak slice, we'll do the old palm test. So that's about the size of it. And that's the size of the uh, meat and potato pie as well. So we'll, uh, we'll get into these, give them a taste in a minute. So which one to start with first? I'll tell you what, let's start with a steak slicer. So yeah, like I say, good bake on it, that. quite heavy. Oh yeah, tastes good that. I'm not sure whether you can see the steak inside there or not, but plenty of it. Yeah, nice gravy as well. Yeah, really good that so far. Let's have another little. Another little bite. Shouldn't speak with my mouth full, should I? But yeah, very nice indeed that. Nice flaky pastry, plenty of meat, and nice gravy, yeah. Not a lot not to like about that. And let's get into this meat and potato pie, yeah. So as I say, we'll not litter. Don't want that to blow away. So let's give that a little, a little bite. Bear with me a sec. Who oh, said this wasn't glamorous? Eh? Bear with me. Just wanted to show you the inside of the pie. Decent that. Falling apart a bit, but still very nice. Plenty of filling, can taste the meat and potato as well. I think there's some onion in there as well, somewhere. So, yeah, all good. And just probably to get a, a bit of a better shot of the, uh, of the pie, but yeah, plenty of filling in there. Breaking up a bit, I'm spilling it on myself, but never mind. Oh, dropping it. Never a good look. But yeah, really nice pie that. It's falling apart, but I think it's the weight of the ingredients. So the steak slice and the meat and potato pie have disappeared. 
for those of you that are worried about my waistline, don't worry too much. Um, I was ably assisted by uh, somebody that came with me and this pigeon as well. So yeah, what am I going to mark them out of 10? Now, what did I say they cost? Did I say about £6.30? I can't remember. Let me just get the receipt out. Just bear with me a second. Let's have a look. So yeah, £6.30 for those. Now, people probably say that's expensive, but that's just how much things cost these days in uh, in England. So, I think the star of the, the two of them was probably the steak slice. But as a collective, I'm going to give Waterfields... I'm going to give them a 9.5 out of 10. It's very nice. So, yeah, 9.5 out of 10, and that's like a combined score, if you will, whilst the pigeon just picks up my feet. So the water fields that we went to is the one that's just peeping out from behind that uh, that umbrella there, the, the shop that's in blue. You can probably just see the writing of it, water fields. So we're on the, uh, the probably the main street in Formby. Um, quite a nice place this, It's uh, if I can just stand up. Got quite lots of uh, like nice coffee shops on this street. Lots of like niche little shops as well, there's a wool shop here. You don't see wool shops in many places in the UK nowadays. And there's some good charity shops here as well. Because Home, Homeby, because put my teeth back in, because Formby's quite a high brow place. I think you do get some decent charity shop finds here as well. So I'll uh, not make you too dizzy. Just pan round for you. So yeah, like I said, probably the main uh, shopping street in Formby this. And this is the other like little shopping area, if you will, in Formby, just off the main street. Now, just at the end of there, whether you can see it or not, that's uh, an M&S food hall, which is always good. Always good for spotting the bargains in there as well. If you leave it to uh, to the time when they're uh, marking things down and it's closing. So yeah, beginning of October 2024. Weather's lovely, to be fair. Still quite warm, a little bit breezy. Probably sounds like a hurricane on uh, on my old phone, but it's not. It's just a little bit breezy. So I'll just pan around. Got a bit of a dog watch going on there as well. Got two golden retrievers. One's misbehaving. Anyway, digress. So I'll just pan around, not make you too dizzy. And round the corner here as well, you've got a waitrose just peeping out from round there just behind them uh, trees see the green sign in a minute so yeah got a big waitrose there as well so you can tell Formby's quite high brow and quite posh because they don't put waitroses in uh, your less affluent towns and cities so anyway I know I'm waffling on here I'll just pan round again try and get the evening sun shining so all that remains for me to say is please join me again on my next adventure wherever that may be, like we are here in Formby, in Lancashire, just north of Liverpool, or elsewhere around the world. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.